Welcome to this tutorial today. My name's Michelle Tracy. Just mixing a little bit of sand into some art resin. It, this is going to be my sand layer for a little turtle MDF board. And I did prime the board first with white gesso, three coats to seal it so that there's no warping of the wood or there's no little air bubbles escaping out of the timber. And I'll just sprinkle a little bit of that sand onto part of the um, turtle where the dry sand will be. And while the resin's still wet, I'm going to drop in some shells. And the brand of resin I've used is Art Resin. I like to use it because it's a really high quality resin. It doesn't have any VOCs and fumes and it also doesn't yellow. These are just shells I've collected from my local beach. It's always so fun and exciting collecting new shells. Just to make sure some of those shells will stick to that sand, I'm going to place a little bit of clear resin underneath it. And I'll continue to sprinkle sand as it starts to sink into that resin. And then I just brush the excess off once the resin has dried. And I really like to use these kitchen scales to measure and pour my resin. Art resin uses a one to one ratio of hardened to resin. So I just mix half and half and it's very easy. For my white wave, I'll be using angel white pigment paste from La Res Expressions. I get some beautiful lacing with art resin and that angel white. For my coloured pigment, I'm choosing Sky Blue. It's a liquid pigment from La Res Expressions. I did then leave the clear and these coloured pigments to just sit in the cups for about 5 to 10 minutes to thicken up a bit, just so that wave didn't run down too much, to extreme. You can see that lovely blue. It's a very transparent blue, which is what I wanted, because you can then see the shells and some of the sand coming through underneath. And because I like to push the boundaries and experiment, I'm going to actually drop some of that liquid pigment straight onto that and let's see what happens. Such a beautiful, vibrant blue and I love how it's contrasting against that pale background. And I'm moving it around so that it kind of swells around so it looks like water. Well, that's my plan anyway. I hope it's looking that way. I'll pop any little bubbles with the blowtorch as always. It's the best way to get rid of any bubbles trying to avoid my sand and shells. <laughs> and this white has been left for about five minutes to sit in that cup to thicken up a bit. And I actually, I poured a bit too much white than what I had planned. So I'm just going to have to wing it a bit. I'm going to have to change up my idea a little bit. It's blown a lot of that blue off. So I'll just drop some more on and hopefully it'll work out. I've just got to be careful not to disrupt that white. I really don't want to ruin any of that beautiful white lacing. So I'm very delicately spreading that around strategically until I get the look that I'm going for. I love that it creates a bit of lacing itself by itself. And now that I've experimented with this on a smaller little MDF cutout, I'll try it on a larger piece of artwork next time. I might even get some different colors into it. Well, let me know if you'd like to see more of these little MDF cutout boards. I think they're really cute. And thank you so much for watching. My name is Michelle Tracy.